We've seen two big campaigns launch in recent days, both of which we've heard about at this conference. Uh, a big rebrand for Combank and the new Tourism Australia ad. What lessons, if any, should marketers take from them? Mm. Um, I'll start with the um, Combank ad, um, which I actually personally like. Um, and I, I like that it's a build on Determined and that, that the can um, is actually a nice positive um, and optimistic um, sentiment that I think that is um, really well suited to Australia now. So I'm really interested to see how they continue to build on that and we're starting to see some of that already. Um, one of the things that uh, I know attracted a lot of interest and commentary was that the teaser component of that campaign, um, unlike the BlackBerry teaser, which I totally missed, even though it was in front of my lift well every morning. This was, for people who don't know, this was the wake up. The, yeah, the, wa the wake up. And um, then somebody um, later told me that I had walked past that wake up thing on, on my lift every morning and I completely missed it. But I got this one. Um, it looks like there was a large investment in it. Um, and look, I think that um, we as an industry are probably more interested in those teaser campaigns and the role that they play and what value they contribute than most Australians are. Um, and I can't see myself um, making an investment decision on Telstra's behalf to run a campaign like that, but never say never. I'm, I'm you know, sure that there were reasons for that. Um, with the Tourism Australia one, um, look, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful, high quality production spot that um, you would want it to be, as I said earlier on. I think it's really safe. Um, it doesn't polarise people. Um, you've got such a beautiful natural environment and landscape and, and um, um, canvas to work with. You can't really stuff it up. Um, the, the learning from that is when you've got an iconic Australian product, in this case Australia, or whether it's Qantas or whether it's a, a large bank or whether it's in, indeed Telstra with so many customers and shareholders, you know, the lesson there is that you're open to scrutiny and um, um, you're going to be um, analysed and, and people are going to take a lot of interest um, because the stakes are quite high. Safe isn't always a compliment though, is it? Um, I, I think that with marketing Australia, yeah, look, I, I don't know, I think it's a, it's a nicely shot spot. But, but safe is just the word that kind of comes to mind. Matthew? Yeah, I really like the tourism spot, actually. I think um, it's a very tough category to get right. Um, there's been many efforts. Um, you've got a stakeholder nightmare because every single tourist operator from a and b in a small country town right up to a major airline has a voice. So it's a, it's a tough one. Um, I thought it, they did manage to capture a sense of Australia that people would find attractive overseas. I think in contrast to the, um, the bloody hell wherever you are, uh, where, where are you, which I thought was just embarrassingly bad, I think it's a very good step on. Uh, I think the only thing for me, it probably, at the end, it sort of drifted away a little. I probably was looking for a little bit more punch at the end. Uh, I think with the CBA one, I'd be interested to see where they're going to take it next and what the tone of voice will be. Uh, because I saw the launch spot with the poem, which I thought was very good, but the Kaching ad is a very different style, and I, I'm just presumably there's a, a thread that they're going to have to get the tone of voice consistent. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it comes comes along. Harold, Tourism Australia and Combank. Oh, I, I, I'll nearly pass because having uh, worked with uh, usually up to 100 advertising agencies and 4,000 clients, people say, what do you think of the ad? And you get into real trouble with that. <laughs> uh, I can tell you that, uh, I, I just say this, that uh, it's tough for Tourism Australia because whoever's got to write the ad has got to sum up what Australia's all about and that's, that's very difficult, almost impossible. Uh, I saw one of the greatest ones ever, which was Pure New Zealand, and, and that summed it all up. So that's a toughie from there. From the bank end, I think it's good. It's out there and it'll work and it's fine, so I think that's good. If you can get a little bit of breakthrough, I used to listen to a fellow called uh, Lionel Hunt talk a lot, and, uh, and if you can get people to actually pay attention to the ad, you can get it to happen. And uh, both these ads seem to do it, so I think they'll work. Nick? I just think the one, nothing much to add, but I think the interesting thing is that you can see digital being built right into the core of these things, rather than being thought about um, oh yeah, we better do that thing as well. Um, and that's very encouraging because I think that's something that sort of reflects the reality of uh, where people are spending their time. And they're leveraging the devices really well too. And interestingly, a lot of the ComBank uh, activity is around functionality 
and technology, which I think is a very interesting um, place for a, for a bank to be going as well. Thank you.